So the technology itself is showing us what's going on in our body at the cellular level based upon the life we've been living since we were in our prime. That's what the information tells us. So this is called biofeedback technology. Here's the difference. And I'm not gonna get too technical with this. The difference is that allopathic medicine, which uses CAT scans, MRIs, X-rays, uh, they're under a different system than quantum physics. Quantum physics is holistic health. When you're under quantum, you're dealing with energy. You're dealing with what, what the body is emitting. And listen to this. Each one of your cells, each one of your cells gives off negative 1.4 volts of energy. Each one of your cells. And, and, and a lot of people didn't, didn't, don't know this, is that each cell gives off energy. But you have 50 trillion cells. Now you do the math. You add the 50, the 50 trillion times the 1.4 volts, you're looking at about 70 trillion watts of energy that you emit from your body. Now, see, we think that food gives us energy. Now, food don't give you energy. In fact, food, your body uses energy to break down the food we just killed when we cooked it. That's what you're doing. You're using your body's natural energy to break down the, the, the dead food that we just killed not killed as far as animal, but yeah, that's a part of it too. But I'm talking about killed when we cooked it. Because anything you cook, you kill the nutritional value of it um, to, some, to a great extent. So therefore, that's why it's important now to understand how to clean your system out. So understanding how the bioscan works, every second of your life, over 100 million cells are dividing every second. So the seconds that just passed, your body is constantly dividing, cells are dividing, organs are moving towards turning over, so you're not stationary. It may look like it if you're sitting still, but you're not. Your body is always in motion, and it's moving, and it's moving, and, it's, and cells are dying, new cells are being born, old cells are dying, new cells are being born. This process within a certain period of time has completed and fully turned and regenerated your full body. Here's the problem. The cells are immortal, but their environment is the toxic place. If your environment is toxic, then the cell's environment is going to suffocate the cells, and that's what causes cellular death. That's what causes cellular malfunction, and wherever that malfunction is, is where, obviously, the organ is going to have the issues, or shall I say the signs or the symptoms. We call them alarms. We don't call them signs and symptoms. The reason we call them alarms because that's exactly what it is. It's an alarm going off to let you know that your liver is clogged. Well, if I give you something to silence that alarm, then I'm, I'm ignoring the liver that's getting worse over time. And if you look on the screen, what I mean by worse over time, well, if you ignore the underlying cause because you're treating the alarm, then you're gonna go from normal to slightly abnormal, or shall I say mildly abnormal? Well, if the alarm comes back on, which it has to come back on, right? Because we never treated the cause. The alarm comes back on, you treat it again. You shut the alarm off. Then now the cause gets worse, and now you're looking at a moderate abnormality. Now we're in a yellow. Of course, now the alarm is getting louder. So therefore you need what? Stronger medicine, right? That makes sense. No, no. But, you get the stronger medicine, you shut off the alarm, and meanwhile, you never address the cause. So guess what happens? Now the liver is in a severe state. What does that mean? That means fibroids for women. That means an enlarged prostate for men. It means possible hysterectomy for a woman. You see what I'm saying? These are the things that are, are happening to us because of ignorance. Now we have more information. So with this information, what do we have the ability to do? To reverse the disease process. That's it. See, we don't use the word cure. That's the medical term. Because we know that disease is a process. You can't cure the process, you can only reverse it. So when you reverse disease, that gives you the ability now to watch it 
go back to where it started, which is back to balance. Mm 